Well, good evening and welcome back to Delmarva. September marks recovery and opioid awareness month and health officials are highlighting the dangers of illicit drugs because you never truly know what you're putting in your body. 47 ABC's Jack Fitchner has the story. You could possibly have a substance history. I call it a light switch. You never know what will happen until you put this, a drug or a substance in your body. Weekend party drugs like cocaine are almost always cut with impure substances like baby powder, vitamin E, or laxatives. But Jessica Taylor of the Wicomco County Health Department says in some cases, fentanyl can be added to increase the potency of weaker drugs, potentially making them fatal upon use. It's being mixed. It's the potency. It's the cost. It's cheaper. The intensity of the euphoria. After experiencing a strong euphoria with the first time use of a party drug, our brain attaches to a certain substance depending on what it likes. Taylor says this can quickly lead to a drug dependency depending on one's genetic history, even after a first time use. With the party drugs, people think, oh, you know, I can drink or I could do a line or a bump on the weekend, no big deal. But then they may not have a significant substance use history with those substances, but it's killing them. Taylor says that family or friends may have no clue that a loved one is even suffering from addiction. But home nurse practitioner and director of Salisbury University Health Services, Lindsay Parker, says especially for young people, it is always better to seek help sooner rather than later. It's important that a student seek resources early um, and not to be afraid of any kind of punitive measures. We would be here to help any students who need help and um, you know, we would encourage them to come to us for resources. We want to raise awareness and we want students to get help if they need help. Yeah, Parker, who you just heard from there, says with the ongoing opioid epidemic, both health services and campus police are all trained and equipped with Narcan in the event that there is an overdose on or even near campus. And at this time, we're going to throw things over to meteorologist Eric Alf for a look at your forecast. Eric. I'll tell you while we're expecting calm weather for the next few days, not so calm in the Atlantic. We've got post tropical storm Idalia, Franklin and Jose and tropical storm Gert and tropical depression 12. None of the, these are uh, having any impact towards the US. Well, have to keep an eye on this wave off of Africa. A 60% chance of development in the next seven days could be entering a favorable environment for further development. Let's we'll certainly keep an eye on that. Adalia, the only concern that it's causing for us as it goes towards the Canadian Maritimes is caused some rib current issues, and that's really going to be a theme for this holiday weekend, including tomorrow, where we have a high risk for rib currents and swells along the beaches throughout the day tomorrow. So while the weather is going to be beautiful, it's not going to be exactly safe to swim in the ocean. So please heed warnings by the lifeguards if you are going out. More swooping side in Sky Cam right now, looking live for Hoboth Beach. A nice quiet night as on tap. Cool as well, cooling down into the uh, lower 60s, upper 50s across some of our locations. Canadian high pressure taking control for the overnight. So clear skies, cool temperatures is expected for the rest of the overnight. No rain to speak of whatsoever into tomorrow as well, where by 6 a.m. we're waking up to full on sunshine, continuing to 12 p.m., 1 p.m. lunchtime. A great day to get outside and eat any lunch you have uh, Certainly a great day and during the evening as well. Full on sunshine by 7 p.m. through the overnight into Sunday morning. A bit away of cloud cover with a weak disturbance passing by that could spark a shower or two through the overnight. Either way, it's out of here by 6 a.m. Sunday. So for the rest of the day on Sunday, full on sunshine once again, but it's going to be noticeably hotter as well as an area of high pressure. A new area of high pressure develops over the southeast of the United States funneling in hot air from the center part of the country. So by Monday, we're expecting very hot conditions likely getting into the lower to mid 90s. So a very refreshing night for tonight. Get those windows open. A nice fall feel clear skies. A great night for radiational cooling with those clear skies, dry air and those light winds. So no complaints tomorrow on the Bracious Carpet Care Dog Walking Forecast. Luna, you can get that walk in any time of the day. For tomorrow, just a great day all around with temperatures barely getting above 80 degrees for much of our location. Sunny skies, comfortable temperatures. The water's going to be a little choppy, especially by the Atlantic seaboard with waves at about five feet or so. Small craft advisory in effect until 10 a.m. tomorrow. Good news is that the skater meter is going to be only high for Saturday and Sunday as opposed to extreme. 
So that's the good news right there. Take a look at this uh, extended forecast. Look at the heat on Monday for Labor Day, 94 degrees, gradually cooling down throughout the course of the work week, but still remaining hot with cooler conditions a little bit by Friday with the chance of a pop-up shower or thunderstorm. Rob? Oh, oh uh, we'll be right back uh, after these messages.